Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavan Mishra and in this video, we will learn how to automate the login page using Playwright Framework. In the course of this video, we will automate the login page of SourceDemo.com site. We will learn how to construct the CSS locator for the login test manually and also using Selector Hub plugin. And then we will also use Playwright Inspector to fetch the locator for the web element. Alright, uh, with that, let's create a JS file and automate the login test. So first thing which I would do, I will, uh, I will go to the my Playwright automation folder and uh, go to the test directory and create a new file called login test.spec.js. Okay, so and what I will do in this file, I will actually import test and expect libraries from playwright test package and then we can go ahead with the automation of the test steps inside the test block so this is my first test so i'm going to write the title for the test login phase demo and then I will be using a sync and uh, I'll go ahead and use the fixture called pace here and then I will be using fat operator and then my test block is ready so let's understand the scenario what we are going to automate here so this is my uh, site which I will be accessing and there will be some username and password okay so i'm going to provide the some invalid credentials and we'll expect that this particular you know message is given in the site or not okay so this is the first kind of you know negative test case and uh, when i will log in i'm expecting this is actually given and i will be actually putting assertion and will validate if this particular you know string is present or not okay and the, in the second test i will be actually using uh, some valid uh, credentials and we'll expect uh, that this site takes me to the home page this particular you know, login page actually once provided the valid username and password it takes me to the home page of this site okay let me actually enter the valid one yeah so it will be actually uh, redirecting to the login page okay so this is that and uh, i will be actually constructing the css locator uh, manually and then also using the uh, you know selector hub plugin and also will be invoking playwright inspector and get the css locator uh, from that ui playwright inspector ui okay so this is what we are going to do and learn in this video so let's go back to the uh, visual code visual studio code vs code and then access the site first using the page fixture and then i will be giving that site name which is source demo and don't forget to add a wait uh, before any action performed inside the test okay so that i mean your javascript uh, basically will run uh, your you know statement or your command or your action in sequence it will follow the order when it finds the it finds uh, finds the await okay keyword before the action okay and then page dot locator locator okay so what we will do here we will actually find the xpath of uh, we will find the css locator of this now uh, web element which is username okay so i will inspect and we'll see what is there in the dom for this web element so this is the dom structure of this element it is inside div and uh, the tag name is input and the class name is input error from for input and the placeholder these are the attributes okay so this is the tag name and this class and placeholder type these are the attribute for this uh, web element okay so if you find id so you can uh, simply what you can do 
you can just type the id and and that will be the uh, uh, css uh, locator for that particular you know web element so here you see the user name is the id so i give just a hash and the username see and it is highlighting okay so i will use this or i will use the class name okay dot and the class name or tag name dot class name which is input error form input okay so make sure this is uh, uniquely getting identified uniquely identified by that uh, you know css otherwise if it, this class uh, there are multiple classes in the dom it will uh, throw the error it will show the multiple occurrences of which is not correct okay so if it is throw, giving the multiple occurrences you should uh, make sure uh, that you are going to with your css it is actually uh, your css is able to uniquely identify the web element on the page okay so this is how you can form the css using the id and also with any attribute like uh, there is a placeholder okay used so placeholder is username so if i have to give the placeholder and then username username it is also able to identify the element and there is only one uh, occurrence okay one of one you can see so i'm going to use this um, uh, uh, css locator in the script for username and then we are going to fill some random you know username which is admin and then i will once again copy and change the locator okay for the password field so this time uh, i'm also giving the password as admin and let me find the locator for this so this time i am going to use the selector hub and let me inspect this there is option and you can get the css relative css directly from here or you can inspect you can go to the uh, selector hub ui and here from here you can copy the css yeah and you can see there is only one occurrence of that okay so the password it is using id field okay and getting uh, forming the css uh, selector so i'm going to use that css uh, okay for the password and then i will use await and then i will be actually wait here i will comment it out and will invoke the playwright inspector wait dot paste dot pause okay so this will be invoking the playwright inspector and uh, then from there from that ui we will be actually finding finding the x path of the login button we can uh, manually construct we can find the uh, login uh, uh, css of uh, this uh, CSS locator of this uh, particular you know uh, web element here using this inspector using the id you here it is given using the uh, uh, selector hub plugin but we want to explicitly you know invoke and uh, see how to fetch the css using the playwright inspector so which is why we are giving one pause uh, to this test uh, to invoke the playwright inspector let's run this test and see how we can fetch the x path of any element using this playwright inspector ui so see it has rendered on the it has accessed the um, browser but it has not accessed the you know uh, source demo because we have put the pause just before that uh, statement so you have to step over to the yeah so it has come it has uh, you have to step over the uh, statement okay do those steps now it has come to this so here you can see everything is rendered so you can click on uh, this you can click on this particular you know pick locator feature and click on uh, login and see it has uh, grabbed the it has uh, grabbed the locator for you so you can copy and uh, use that locator in your uh, script okay i will just uncomment this and then locator can be used directly over here and we are going to click on that okay 
login button. So, uh, so far so good, right? So I'm going to use this particular, I'm going to execute this particular test case. So I'm adding only and then I will run the test again. Um, you have to save the test first. Otherwise your changes will not be reflected. And uh, I will remove this wait, uh, pause the statement. Okay, and save the test. And then it should only execute only one test. Yeah, one worker and see it has passed. So no matter like what uh, username and password you are giving, your test is getting, uh, you know, passed. See, it will be passed again. So now the next is like uh, how you will make sure that, uh, you know, when you are providing the invalid credentials, uh, it should actually throw the error and that should be asserted. So we should see if that particular you know, error message is uh, uh, the expected error message, right? So how, how we can achieve that? So we have to get the uh, text of that particular, you know, error message and we have to assert right what we want is there or not in that error masses so how how we would do that so let's um, actually get that error masses first the locator of that error masses so this is that and i will inspect and see this is that uh, relative css uh, selector for this error masses so i'm going to use this locator give double quote because I have used single code inside this particular CSS locator and then I will get the uh, text content of that text content of that error message okay makes sense right and then I can also print this inside console log and I will put a wait because this is that uh, has to be in sequence okay i will save this and then what i can do i will actually go ahead and uh, get the locator use the same locator and see if it contains it particular you know locator contains some text which we are expecting that in the error masses or not so it has to we have to expect right so we can expect that and to content text and what is there in that a string received the strings so we have received this string and uh, we should uh, look for some match here so do not match is the uh, string which is inside this uh, big string okay so this should contain do not match if this particular you know text uh, a string is con uh, present inside that error message then uh, this test but uh, this particular test should pass otherwise we would fail it okay so let me run this so it has don't match timeout five so you're waiting for expect received to expected to contain text expected something some error is there so see uh, there is error and you have to rectify why there is error now what could be the problem so you have to find out the error and tell me where it is actually failed okay so uh, as per the uh, you know error which you see here so it is actually saying error timed out five millisecond or uh, five second waiting for expect received to contain text don't match received string it is not receiving anything so here what could be what could have gone wrong so this particular text looks okay and console log looks also okay but it is not uh, receiving anything over here, right? What could have gone wrong? Okay. 
in this particular test. This looks fine. Text content is okay. And then, oh yeah, we have not put a weight. Okay, so this could potentially cause the issue because uh, this uh, this particular statement to may uh, be executed uh, before this statement. Okay, so let me uh, run it and see how it goes. See, this time it is passed. Okay, so don't forget, uh, guys. Uh, like. Uh, Whenever you are using asynchronous or whenever you are using async and anonymous uh, function, you are using your, you know, uh, uh, you are writing your test in Playwright, you have to use await uh, just before any action inside the test. Okay. So that was a problem and that got rectified. And now, intentionally, deliberately, we want to, you know, fail the test case. We can uh, just expect something which is not there in the received string okay so it will actually fail the test case it will wait for five seconds maximum and then it will fail you're done and it has failed see don't match to this is not found in the received uh, string so this has to be there inside the received string and everything looks good uh, okay and intentionally we have failed this case right so this is that and uh, let me do some happy path testing also by using the see if i uh, you know save the test it will say duplicate test title okay so make sure title is a uh, different every time you write a new test and this should be different okay maybe you can type with this and then you're good and see it has also printed the received string because we are printing that inside the console okay so that was the previous test and now we are running with the proper username and password so this time i'll be giving the proper username which is there in this site login page so standard these are the four username which are there in this and the password is same for every user listed over here so i'll be giving that password which is secret sauce and then i will remove this only from here or maybe i will let all the test cases run this time okay so along with this google test i mean there are uh, now three tests which will be executed and let me do the formatting also format document and i will save the test again i will terminate the job and then run the test see three tests are passed and uh, we are good so this is how you can you know uh, use uh, you know a playwright inspector you can use selector hub you can manually construct the you know uh, css locator uh, from the dome okay like using attribute id or you know class name and you can go ahead and put uh, with the login test uh, scenario you can automate the login test scenario and also you can validate the uh, error message right um, using expect okay and the text content and to content or uh, to content text uh, method so uh, hope this information was useful to you and please do subscribe to this channel and stand by for more videos on playwright and i will see you in next video until then keep learning